counting on, on Maria, Mary, Laura, because we've been more intensely involved in this conversation. So I'm just going to lay a little framework, but you all jump in, all right? How, this, how we came to this moment started, well, probably the whole history of the Hope Community Center, but was uh, last year we wrote a proposal to try to get some money and our, the, the, the opportunity was to write a, an, a creative grant to see how we could improve our bottom line programmatically. And our idea, which was brilliant, was a lot of the things that we do, like spring breaks, bringing other people here that come to learn about immigration, they come to learn about farm workers, they come to learn about the farm worker community, about poverty, about racism, stuff like that. They're from other communities who have some money, and we could offer those services that we've always given away for free just because we were so glad somebody cared, that we could package them in ways that we could actually charge some money and have one program anyway that we could charge and people. So that was the little framework that we started this service learning program. But when we started thinking about it, the, the container got bigger and bigger and bigger. And we thought, we don't think about the AmeriCorps. The whole AmeriCorps thing for all of these years has been a service learning program that we're a part of, that brings money, that brings people, that brings experience into this community. We got thinking about that. Then we got thinking about the youth. My God, that's a service learning thing. Those kids offer service to this community through which they learn. They give back to the community and they're witness to other people. You know, we're talking, you know, about Ellie and her the company of people that have gone around to talk about immigration reform and the Dream Act. That's a service to the community. We didn't think about it that way until we started talking about this. Then we thought, you know, the the classes of um, you know of, of Bia, you know, come in here and they're sitting in circles at the tables teaching each other. It's not just a teacher that teaches them and then they all go away. It creates community. The process that we use here creates community and people are invited to give back and to help other people. And the more we got thinking about it, we thought that this whole thing here, <laughs> the Hope Community Center, is actually a service learning community. And that's sort of the way the container or the way we would describe everything, tutoring, you know, the college kids that come in here and teach the moms that, that um, you know, that can't, you know, read or, or, or write. The, I mean, you can think of a million examples, and we'll probably be doing that, you know, at the table. Also, our, you know, what we learned from somebody, an article that we read that said, this is why we are different. A lot of people see services fixing, and fixing assumes the people are broken. We don't see this community as broken. So we don't approach it that way. Or they see services that helping, which assumes that I know everything and you don't know everything. The parenting you know, group, the thing that's most important in that is probably not us that facilitate it. It's the relationship that develops among them. And they feel like that they're not alone and they have some advice and some support for each other. So we don't see it as fixing. We don't see it as helping. Our idea about service is relationship and it's mutual. We give what we have, they give what they have, and together it makes it better for everybody. And unfortunately, not everybody that's in the helping profession <laughs> see their work that way, but we do, you all do, everybody here. Sometimes we don't, sometimes we fall back into these you know, other ways, but really this is our, our heart space is really this. And it's a process, we serve, by our service we learn, and it brings more service, and it, that's the growth you know, pattern. It's acting and learning and acting and learning. And the acting we do is about serving the community in this sense, a relationship of the heart. You've made a great distinction when you said yesterday that service learning for some things, there is a program that we're developing, which are little service learning things about alternate spring breaks and maybe some kinds of workshops and maybe giving teachers and social workers CEUs, which are credits that you get to keep your license. 
uh, having an elder hostel workshop here. Things that we could do that we could charge money for that would help bring in income here that would help us all do all the different programs we do. But that everybody, the culture here, <laughs> the context in which we all do our work is a context of service learning, service learning. Is that at least a framework? Yeah, great. Add. <laughs> um, 